Question 7. Given that A is a 2 by 2 matrix with 4, 5, and 1, 1, then and B is also a 2 by 2 matrix with X minus 1, 1, 2, and 0. Find question A, A transpose. Question B, X if A times B equals a 2 by 2 matrix with elements 10, 4, 2, and 1. So again, what is important is understanding the question. The question is we need to find the transpose. So what is the transpose? So if you're given a matrix, say A equals A, B, C, D. A transpose means we need to swap this row becomes a column. So meaning you have A, B here. Then this becomes the second column, which is C, D. So which is the same as just swapping B and C. That's what it means. So based on that principle, we can say A transpose equals, so it will be 4, 5, then you have 1, 1 like this. So we are swapping 5 and 1. As simple as that. 4, 1, 5, 1. Then you get that one mark. Then we look at B. So B, what it means, we need to multiply A and B. So I'll start using this space. So what is M? A is 4, 5, 1, 1. We multiply it by B, which is X minus 1, then 1, then 2, then 0, like that. Then this, we equate it to 10, 4, 2, 1, like that. That's what we need to do. So, I'm going to create space. So, as I create space, what it will mean is we multiply this one by this and this that will be the first law that's what it means so let us start the multiplication the first multiplication is 4 times this so it will be 4 times x minus 1 then plus plus to be 5 multiplied by 2 so it will be 5 multiplied by 2. Then we move to the next element on top. So the next element on top, it will be now the same this, we multiply it by this. It will be now 4 times 1, then plus, then we are going to have 5 multiplied by 0. Then we move to the bottom after we finish the top. So the bottom is now, we multiply this by this and by that. So it will be 1 times this, then 1, one times 2, like the, that. So it will be now 1 times x minus 1, then plus 1 times 2. Similarly, we go now. It will be now the same this the same thing that we had you've seen this and this but we are multiplying now by one one so it will be one times one then plus one times zero where are these these are these the second law law two this is law one so we are multiplying law by column one then law 1 by column 2. Then similarly it will be low 2 by column 1, then low 2 by column 2, like that. So this is the principle we are using. Then when you simplify this, we need to equate them to this, like we did. You equate them to this number. So let us go and simplify them. We are going to have 4 times x is 4x, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, 5 times 2 is a 10. Then we are going to have 4 times 1 is a 4, then plus 
5 times 0 is 0. Then we are going to have 1 times x minus 1 is x minus 1, plus 1 times 2 is a 2. Then 1 times 1 is a 1, plus 1 times 1 is a 0. This. So simplify this. So this one tells me that I have got 4x plus 6, then x plus 1. When you simplify this one, then we are going to have a 4, then we are going to have a 1. This must be equated to this, which is 10 to 4, 1. So we have 10, 2, then 4, 1. You notice that this one is this one, then this one is that one. Then between these two and this one, you can just pick one, then equate it to uh, n of these. So if you don't have enough time, you just get this one. So it will be x plus 1 is equal to the pair is 2. So it will be x is equal to 2 minus 1, which is x is equal to 1. So the value of x is 1, like that. If you wanted to confirm, you can get this one, which will be now 4x plus 6 is equal to 10. So it will be 4x is equal to 10 minus 6. So 4x is equal to 4. We divide by 4, we divide by 4. So again, x is equal to 1. So either you just get one of those. So when you get one of these two, you still get it. So what you are saying is x is equal to 1. Once you do that, you are good to go. You get the two marks. So this is how you answer this question. Please don't forget to download your stud companion in the description section of this video. you find a lot of practical questions that will help you to prepare for your exams effectively. Doesn't matter where you are, you can study while you're on the bus or at work. Please join me in the next episode as I look at question 8.